Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, March 26, 2013. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Saturday Independent Newspaper. In tonight's news, Franklin County authorities are investigating a, an apparent murder of a Cowan man. Defense Department budget cuts could cause as many as 300 Arnold Center employees to be furloughed. And we'll have some video from this past weekend's Easter celebrations. And Tullahoma has a new party story. We'll have all these stories and more more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. On the train test range, the search for any possible weakness continues. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Train, the most reliable for a reason. Hello, my name is Joe Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. I'm here to talk to you about a couple incentives that are going on between now and end of the year. First is your federal tax credit up to $300. Secondly, 0% financing up to 15 months on XL products. Third, spring promotion up to $1,100. Finally, $500 incentives from your local power distributor. Please give us a call at 455-8757. Thank you. Come to Jim Oliver's Smokehouse in beautiful Mont Eagle, Tennessee, your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 21 log and timber frame cabins. Enjoy the romantic fireplace and jacuzzi tub. Get more information and book a reservation at thesmokehouse.com. <laughs> Charter Internet has the bandwidth to support more devices than anyone else in the market. So everyone can do their own thing, whether it's watching puppy videos or creating an all-powerful command center to mastermind the complete domination of the world, the universe, and... Ooh, ice cream! Get 30 megabits per second for only $30 and let it all in. Welcome back. Southern Middle Tennessee law enforcement personnel are investigating the apparent murder of a Cowan man. The body of Corey Matthews, age 26, was found in a field next to Jackson Cemetery in Franklin County around 2.30 Sunday afternoon. Relatives say the man had been missing since Saturday night. Franklin County Sheriff's Department Sergeant Chris Guest says anyone with information about the crime should call one 931 or the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation at 1-800-TBI-FINE. The Cowan Police Department is also investigating the murder. Department of Defense budget cuts could cause as many as 300 employees at Arnold Center to be furloughed for a while. Pentagon officials have put off sending furlough notices to civilian employees until they've had time to analyze how pending legislation that could fund federal, the federal government for the rest of the year would affect the Defense Department. According to Navy Commander Leslie Hull Ride, a Pentagon spokeswoman, officials now estimate that furlough notices will go April 5th. Commander Hull Ride said, quote, the legislation could have some impact on the overall number of furlough days, but no decisions have been reached, especially since the legislation hasn't been signed into law. The number of furlough days at this point remains at 22, end quote. Pentagon Press Secretary George Little said the delay makes sense and is a responsible step to take in order to assure civilian employees that the department does not take lightly the practice of furloughs and the result, resulting decrease in employees' pay. Colonel Raymond G. Toth, commander at Arnold Center, said he believes the cuts to be imminent. The general manager of Aerospace Testing Alliance, ATA, the operating contractor at the base, will ultimately announce how they will deal with the cuts. If the furlough notices actually go out on, on April 5th, the furloughs would start the second week of May. Tullahoma criminal investigator Harry Conway has been appointed to the Tennessee Joint Task Force on Children's Justice and Child Sexual Abuse. He is the only law enforcement representative to serve on this statewide task force that advises state legislators. Conway has nearly 24 years of law enforcement experience. Conway has been with the Tullahoma Police Department for 10 years. Prior to joining the TPD, he spent four years with the U.S. Army Military Police, achieving the rank of Staff Sergeant. Conway also managed a private detective service for 10 years. 
Conway said, quote, I enjoy working with the task force. It allows me to give law enforcement input on how we can improve our investigation and make life better for children who need our help, end quote. Conway was officially notified by the commissioner of the Tennessee Department of Children's Services, James Henry, who said, quote, I am pleased that you have chosen to give your time, knowledge, and expertise to this effort, and I look forward to working with you, end quote. Conway is the Tullahoma representative for the Tullahoma Child Protective Investigative Team. He represents the Tullahoma Police Department in all child protective investigations, including team protocols and mutual aid investigations that involve five counties and 19 law enforcement agencies. Some of these agencies include the Tennessee Department of Children's Services and all supporting nonprofit agencies that aid in the prevention of severe abuse. Tullahoma Police Chief Paul Blackwell said, quote, his appointment speaks to the quality of the people we have working for the department. He is an outstanding leader with a firm but fair attitude and reputation for honest loyalty and integrity, end quote. Attorneys representing a Tennessee outpatient clinic that administered tainted steroid injections linked to fungal meningitis outbreak want to consolidate lawsuits under a single Nashville judge. Seven lawsuits have been filed in Davidson County, but attorneys representing St. Thomas Outpatient Neurosurgical Center and the St. Thomas Hospital told the judge Friday that several more lawsuits were expected to be filed. C.J. Gideon, who represents the center, told Circuit Court Judge Joe Binkley that having a single judge hear all cases locally would be more efficient. But George Nolan, an attorney representing some of the meningitis patients said he was concerned that consolidating the cases with others that have not yet been filed would cause a delay. The injections were produced by the New England Compounding Center. We'll be right back with more News Leader on 6. Hi, Trim McNabb, Stan McNabb, Chevrolet Buick, GMC Cadillac. Right now you can get the 2013 Buick Verona with no money down for just $279 a month. We both purchased our vehicles from Stan McNabb Chevrolet in January. And we could not be happier with the decision to buy them here. Don't forget about the Stan McNabb $500 price match guarantee. We will meet or beat any new car price or give you a check for $500. You can view all our inventory online at stanmcnabb.com. And remember, if anyone can, Stan can. Mark, 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 you've won just about everything there is to win in racing. What's next? I'd like more people to know about ER Extra. The emergency room at Harton Regional Medical Center? I just want them to get the best care they can get. That just gets me right here, Mark. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to pay him a visit. <laughs> ER Extra at Harton Regional Medical Center. ER Extra. Extra fast, extra easy, extra great. Do you have jewelry that you'll never wear? How about a broken piece that's stashed deep into your jewelry box? Don't let your unused gold jewelry gather dust. Get the most out of its value today. Bring it in to Woodard's Diamond Showroom for cash or store credit. Walk away with the cash or put your credit towards a beautiful piece of jewelry you will actually wear. If you need a repair, we'll have it looking like new in no time at Woodard's Diamond Showroom inside Northgate Mall of Tallahoma. Welcome back. Hundreds of area children enjoyed the 30th annual Glicken Woods Easter Egg Hunt in Tallahoma on Saturday. John Gray brings us this video. And this is John Gray at Fraser McEwen Park. It's Saturday morning and it's time for the annual Glicken Woods Easter Egg Hunt. And as you can see as I get a close up here, there are Easter eggs everywhere. And there are about four different locations where the different age groups will hunt, and uh, we'll watch the excitement here in just a minute. Who is this? Timmy the Tooth. Timmy the Tooth? Timmy the Tooth. And what, does, what, what wonderful things does Timmy say to these young kids? Uh, brush your teeth twice a day, floss, just make sure and take care of all your teeth. All your teeth? All of them. Not just the front ones, not the just, back ones too. Yes, and not just the baby teeth, but the permanent teeth also. All right. Here's Jeremy with the City of Tallahoma Animal, Animal Control, and I think Jeremy's got some adopt, but some, somebody that can be adopted here. Those look like Easter puppies. They are Easter puppies. <laughs> they ready to go? Oh, they're very ready to go. We got them uh, last week, and uh, they're about eight weeks old now, and uh, they've been dewormed, and 
they're excited and they just want to see some little kids' faces and smiley faces and ready to go hunt some eggs themselves. Yeah, <laughs> look at here, look at here. Coach, how you doing, man? Good to good, see good you. Good seeing you. You gonna find some eggs today? Yeah, like I, we didn't get this one too. Uh-oh, uh-oh, so. look at there. <laughs> See, y'all are pretty sharp. You get right here in front where everybody thinks they have to come by here and right. sign up to hunt right. eggs. That's right, they? yeah. And a few years ago when we, when we did this, hardly anybody knew what the Imagination Library was. Now they know and they're interested and they want to sign their kids up. And here's the area where the prizes are. And when the, when the kids go out and find the eggs, they look inside the egg and some of them have some candy in there and some of them have numbers that coincide to one of the great prizes given away by Doctors Glick and Woods. And the Easter Bunny's here this morning also taking pictures with the with the children. And have a look at that, isn't that great? There's Dr. Glick right there. Are you having fun this morning there? Uh, we still. Crowd's good. Rain stayed away. Yes, it is. So far, so good. So far, so good. And can you win a prize here? Oh, yeah. In celebration of our 30th um, Easter egg hunt, we are drawing for a 50 inch flat screen TV. Dollar a chance. So. Dollar a chance. What a deal. Yep, what a deal. What a deal. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Be on your mark. I'm going to count mark. down five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Put the eggs in the basket. <laughs> Put the eggs in the basket. There they go. Whoa! I mean, they are out there getting those eggs. Looking for what's inside. <laughs> Woods Easter Egg Hunt 2013. The Manchester Recreation Department has a rather, had a rather un unique egg hunt Saturday at the Recreation Center pool with plans for more this weekend. Philip Scoggins brings us this report. We're here today with Channel 6 with uh, Vonna Wooten and Bonnie Gamble at the Manchester Rec Center and there's been some excitement going on here today. Can you tell us about it? Um, today we had our underwater egg hunt. Um, it's an annual egg hunt that I have every year um, and we have a hundred registrants that came um, and hunted for eggs and got their candy and prizes. Were there prize eggs and things like that or is it just everybody a free-for-all for everything? Um, there are prize eggs. There's um, two, I have three age groups and each age group has two prize eggs and so we did have um, $10 gift certificates coming from Walmart and all of those were sponsored by Coffee County Bank. How long have you all been doing this is, since you said it's an annual event? Um, this is going on probably our eighth year maybe. Um, I started it, I found out about it at a conference that I had went to, an aquatic conference, and this is probably about our eighth year. Okay, great. And Bonnie, is there anything coming up at the rec center you want to tell us about? Well, we're going to be having our um, nighttime Easter egg hunt for older children. I believe it's 8 to 12 next Saturday at 8 p.m. at the Bay Brew Field. It was originally scheduled for tonight, but because of a chance of thunderstorms, we're postponing it a week. So we'll still have some eggs that can be hunted by older children outside. You bring your flashlight, you bring your bag, and you come 8 p.m. to Bay Brew Field, and you can participate in that activity. And we also have extended swim pool hours. I forgot to say that. Uh, this week with schools out because of spring break, you can come to the recreation department and swim from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at our pools. All right. Great. Well, thanks you two for talking to me, and we'll see you later. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment with more news later on 6. Citizens Tri-County Bank has the checking, loans, savings, and traditional banking services you want plus free internet banking and bill pay, bank your change, Visa gift card, and lots more state-of-the-art banking services. We focus on the service and services you want. So you can bank when, where, and how you want, at our offices, or from just about anywhere. Citizen Shry County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. 
Welcome to Camino Real, home of the area's most authentic Mexican food. Expect quality service in a friendly environment that features the only truly authentic Mexican food in the area. With favorites like tacos, fajitas, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, freshly made guacamole, and Mexican rice. All made from scratch using homemade Mexican recipes and only the freshest ingredients. Come and enjoy a meal at Camino Real with the great food, friendly service, and warm atmosphere of Old Mexico. A salute to the Never Wasters, the Coupon Clippers, Switch Flippers, One Last Drop of Milk Drippers, the Thoughtfully Thrifty, and the Just Plain Cheap. Charter respects your economic IQ and honors it with a phone service worthy of your ever-watchful wallet. Charter Phone, just $19.99 a month for real monthly savings for fabulously frugal folks like you. Switch to Charter Phone and get unlimited local and long distance and 13 calling features with no extra fees like the phone company charges you. Welcome back. Several Tullahoma churches joined with First Christian Church and First Presbyterian Church for the annual Palm Sunday Walk on Sunday. Let's watch video from that event. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Palm Sunday Walk that's taken place for numerous years here in Tullahoma. It starts at the First Presbyterian Church and the churches have all been invited to come and the walk will go uh, to First Christian Church. There'll be uh, a message given here at the First Presbyterian Church and then a message at the First Christian Church and the Palms will walk down through the streets of downtown Tullahoma uh, representing Palm Sunday. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the Son of David. Let us pray. Open our hearts and minds, O God, of our salvation. Fill us with the true life of your Son who became one of us and remain true to your will even though that meant the way of the cross. Grant us your grace. Make us ever mindful of the unsearchable depths of your love. Pour out upon us in the gift of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have in love his own. And now the walk has begun with a police escort and some of the churches down the way will maybe join in with this. This is uh, basically the First Christian Church and the First Presbyterian Church. And these folks will be walking to the parking lot or to the courtyard of the First Christian Church where there will be an ending ceremony for Palm, the Palm Sunday Palm Walk. Some of those here comes some of those Lutherans right here. The Lutheran contingency is small this year, but they're well represented. Yeah, here they come. So they're making their way. has a new business in the Cherokee Square Shopping Center. The Celebrate Party Store opened for business on Saturday. I spoke with the proud owners, John and Karen Orr. Here today in Cherokee Square in Tullahoma at one of the newest stores in Tullahoma, certainly the newest one in Cherokee Square. It's called Celebrate, and I'm with John 
and Karen Orr, who are the proprietors of this store, and are working today as, as we speak to them today. Uh, it, it's kind of organized chaos around here because you guys are getting ready to open <laughs> in about in about two days. Uh, the store is called Celebrate. Tell us what you guys are going to be doing here. We, we're carrying a, a wide variety of, uh, of merchandise for, from baby showers to christenings to birthday parties to bachelorette. Just, just about if Everything. there's an occasion we we'll probably have something um, for it. So, yeah. and and, and you, you mentioned to me before we came on camera here that this uh, this is the only store of its kind anywhere around here. There's a, the closest one I guess is Huntsville uh, in one way and Mark's maybe, Square, maybe the other way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The other way. So, and uh, you guys are going to be opening uh, Monday. Oh, I forget the date. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Okay. Yes. Now, how did you? How did? When I came in, I got to say this. I said to John, John, this is a perfect business for you. But I've known John a long time. So, so, so uh, uh, but what gave you guys this idea to get into this kind of business? Well, it's kind of my brainstorm. Uh, Karen and I. I mean, we were talking and. Um, I was in Jackson for 11 years, and I worked for a real estate company that was a big. We had 70 some agents, and I was always doing something every day, just about nine to 10 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And so it's a little slower paced in Tahoma. <laughs> and um, so I said, you know, we need to do something. And we started looking at different business opportunities, and we, we, me. Well, you mostly. Yeah, yeah. Said, Why don't we do a party store? So it took me about a year to convince Karen um, <laughs> that this would probably be a great benefit to the town. Yeah. I, well, there's just nothing here. And I've, you know, talking to people before we opened this, or started to actually open the store, everybody said, oh, that'd be great to have that because we don't have to drive out of town mm -hmm. to um, get our party needs. So. We just wanted to do something, bring a new business to Tullahoma and um, promote our hometown <laughs> exactly. shopping. Exactly, because I know both of you guys are, are natives of Tullahoma. Yeah. And uh, we all, if we've lived here, we certainly like to keep the dollars at home, and that was, that's going to happen here. And, and not only that, it'll keep you having to go from this place to this place to this place. I, I would think to to try to find uh, mm -hmm. what you got, what, what you might need for your party. You guys are going to be awful busy, <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to and we're going to come back to visit them again today. Like I say, they're just kind of uh, kind of putting it all together here, and getting ready to open up in two days. We're going to come back and check on them again in a couple of weeks, and you folks do the same. It's in Cherokee Square uh, Shopping Center on the end right across I can see Chick-fil-A from here and uh, the store is appropriately named Celebrate so come and celebrate with John and Karen right here at Cherokee Square and Telehome. Good luck Thanks, guys. Jimmy. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you, it very much. Don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at, at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include members of the Tullahoma Lions Club who are hosting a choir to the area. Valerie Smith will remind us to make a reservation at the Bell Buckle Cafe for Easter dinner. And even though it's been freezing outside, you can get, still go to the South Pacific starting next weekend at the South Jackson Civic Center. And we'll have some performers to tell us all about that. All that and more on this week's Living. We'll be back in just a few more moments with more news later on 6. The highest standard of excellence requires dedication and commitment. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of excellence in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's got to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor's stat. 
When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick market where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. Stop by any Quick Mart today and not only save time, but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. Welcome back. The IRS is warning taxpayers about a tax scam involving Social Security that has been popping up in communities across the country. Let's watch the video. Here's a tip from the IRS. Hi, I'm Julianne, and I work for the Internal Revenue Service. You may have already filed your tax return and you may not be thinking about taxes, but tax scammers are always thinking about ways to take your money. The IRS has seen an increase in tax scams preying on senior citizens and low-income taxpayers. Some of the most common scams involve con artists who lure their victims into filing false claims for tax credits, rebates, or refunds based on withholdings from their Social Security benefits. Tax scammers also use flyers and brochures advertising free money from the IRS with little or no documentation required. In the end, not only do the victims lose the money that they paid the scammer, but they also learn that their claims are rejected. Or worse, they have to return the money to the IRS, plus penalties and interest. Don't fall for it. And remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. To learn more about tax scams, go to www.irs.gov. We'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast after these messages. The construction sale continues at Russell Barnett Key in Tullahoma. Even though the construction process is still going on, Russell Barnett says we have to move them out now. Check out this 2013 Kia Rio, yours today for $15,995. With America's best warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. So remember, Russell Barnett Key in Tullahoma is the dealer for the people, and my question is, why buy anywhere else? Tullahoma Drug has a gift for keeping well. You know about prescriptions, but there's so much more to tell. There's a gift for all occasions, for body, soul, and mind, cards to show you care, gifts to show your kind. There are remedies and recipes and treats, you'll want to eat them. Stacks of books from famous cooks and spectacles to read them. Shades and frames, puzzles, games, dishes, plates and mugs. We're a Tullahoma treasure. We are Tullahoma Drug. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 2007 at 83 degrees. The record low was in 1955 at 18 degrees. The average high on this day is 64, and the average low is 40. For tonight, mostly cloudy weather in your forecast with a low of around 26. Mostly sunny weather expected for Wednesday with a high of 52 and a low of 31. Sunny weather still in your forecast on Thursday with a high of 57 and a low of 36. Jimmy, you've been bundling up, staying warm this weekend. It's uh, uh, quite unseasonably. I, th I understand some lawsuits have been uh, filed against the uh, groundhog. The groundhog, uh, yeah. The they, groundhog, they're going yeah. after old Punxsutawney Phil for this yeah, stuff. I think yeah. they. They ought, to, yeah, they ought to get that guy what's coming to him, give, give him what's coming to him. Absolutely. So. He was totally wrong about this deal. Wasn't he? All right. That's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us. It's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great night.